this lecture we are going to learn about different ways in which you can solve any engineering problem right now we will try to understand different approaches to solve a problem so here we'll try to understand different approaches to solve a problem using a small story so here there is a person and let us name this person as x so this x person wants to cross this particular body of water and start from point a and reach point b so he wants to reach from a to b right now in order for him to cross the body of water that is present here he has to cross a wooden plank that is placed between the points a and points b now he is having a doubt shall i cross it or not will the plank bear my weight or not so this is the question that this person x is having so how can he get answer for those questions or let us say how he is going to solve the problem of whether to cross the water body on the wooden plank or not for that there are different approaches so the first approach so this person will be thinking okay what i will do is i will test this wooden plank by passing over it so now there are two conditions that are possible let us say once the person has gone on to the wooden plank it may break so what will happen if it breaks he will fall or let us say this is you so you will fall into the body of water and get drowned or if we didn't break what will happen you will just safely cross or let us say the person x will safely cross and reach the point b okay from point a to point b he will reach so this is one method then we will see the next scenario what he is going to do now let us suppose this person x or let us say this is you and you have studied lot of theory of elasticity plasticity you know how to solve uh, huge differential equations complicated integral equations partial differential equations you know everything and you know different formulas uh, how to derive formulas and other things so what you can do is you are going to convert this entire system into a system somewhat like this and take some assumptions and derive some complicated equations and try to solve those equations and will finally get a formula somewhat like this and using this formula and your known weight values you are going to find out the answer for the questions of shall i cross or not or will it bear my weight or not so this is one more method or one more way in which you are using your high level knowledge of mathematics and creating equations and solving the problem and finding the answers for your questions but one thing is that this will take a lot of time as well as a lot of patience to be performed okay then we will leave these two scenarios we will try to understand the third scenario in third scenario what he is going to do so in the third scenario instead of using complicated mathematics like uh, differential equations uh, partial differential equations and integral equations uh, he will use uh, linear algebra and further simplify this particular entire system he will further simplify into a sample system like this uh, and uh, using linear algebra or simple system of linear equations uh, he is going to take some matrices and he is going to solve these matrices and find out the answer for his questions of uh, shall i cross the wooden plank or not or will the wooden plank bear my weight or not so these are the three different approaches in which one thing you can do experimental study on yourself uh, which may be risky then you can uh, go for uh, complicated formulas uh, analytical equations uh, and uh, try to solve those equations uh, there itself uh, when you are standing at the point a but this requires a lot of amount of knowledge as well as it requires a lot lot of time to solve then coming to the third scenario where uh, you are going to simplify the system uh, some more 
and then using simple mathematics rather than complicated mathematics you try to solve the problem and get the answer very easily at that particular point of time okay or if you don't want to do any one of these scenarios then the next option or the best option is to ask a local person whether I can cross or let us say shall I cross or not will it be able to bear my weight or not so you can go to a local person who constantly roams from point A to point B on that wooden plank and you can ask him and this is what is called as experiential learning so this is what uh, makes the humans uh, more uh, adaptive to the scenarios that he is facing so this is the fourth scenario which you can do okay now so coming to the technical terms let us say we take any engineering problem that can be solved in three different ways so the first way is nothing but the analytical method and second way is the numerical method and the third way is nothing but the experimental method right so now what we are going to do is we are going to match the scenarios that we have seen in the previous story to this uh, technical terms of analytical method numerical method and experimental method so now see the scenario where you have solved this entire system using complicated equations uh, which has taken a lot of time and and lot of knowledge uh, it is nothing but the example of analytical method then you have solved this particular problem using simple mathematics and principles of linear algebra and simplified this system this is an example of application of numerical method or let us say this is an example of the way in which you can apply numerical method to solve any engineering problem then coming to the third method which is nothing but the experimental method this is the scenario number one where you will not ask any person or you will not do any calculations you just directly go on to the plank and if it is going to stay you are going to safely cross if it is going to break you are going to fall into the water and get drowned so this is the example of an experimental method of solving any engineering problem now coming to the analytical method so analytical method is also known as a classical approach then whatever the results we are going to get from analytical method they are 100% accurate then uh, it gives us closed form solutions remember whenever we are performing any calculations using analytical method we are trying to denote the system in the form of uh, different PDE equations that are partial differential equations and ODE equations which are nothing but ordinary differential equations and integral equations and what we will do is we will try to find solutions for all of these kinds of uh, equations in analytical method so it is complete in itself but the problem but the main disadvantage of uh, using analytical method is uh, it cannot be applied to complex problems uh, so only simple problems such as cantilever beam, simply supported beam, such type of problems can only be solved using analytical methods. If we try to apply the analytical method to somewhat complicated system, we will not be able to derive the solution to that. And even if we try to derive the solution also, it will be a very tedious process as well as time consuming process and requires a lot of knowledge and in most of the cases where complex boundary conditions or let us say complex environmental conditions are involved it is uh, most likely not possible to do so so this is an example where uh, we applied uh, the analytical method to solve for the deflection of a cantilever beam so at the end the force p has been applied on a cantilever beam and uh, here we applied the differential equations and we solve the differential equations to, to finally find the formula for uh, the deflection and the slope of this particular cantilever beam right then the next method is the numerical method so this numerical method is nothing but a mathematical representation of a system so instead of representing a system in the form of ODEs, PDEs, we will try to represent the system in the form of what are known as nodes and elements and from that uh, we will deduct uh, 
these systems in the form of uh, matrices somewhat like this uh, somewhat like a k into x uh, equal to f uh, type of things and uh, this systems uh, we are going to solve using the principles of a simple linear algebra right but the numerical method is approximate and lot of assumptions are made to simplify the problem so whatever the complex problems we are going to come across we will try to simplify them by using assumptions and approximations then this particular numerical method is applicable even if the physical prototype is not available so generally what will happen is as we have learnt in the earlier lecture that uh, once the design concept has been made uh, first of all what we will do is uh, we will try to analyze whether the product is going to work or not uh, inside uh, computer aided engineering softwares uh, and uh, the computer aided engineering softwares use the numerical method as the base uh, for solving those problems and uh, giving us results then it can be applicable to solve real life complex problems then the main disadvantage of numerical method is results cannot be believed blindly because uh, there will be deviations uh, because of the assumptions that we are making and approximations we are making there might be deviation of the results so we need to be validating those results either by experimental methods or if possible by analytical methods otherwise without validating those results we can't go forward and if you are able to see this is one uh, simple example where we are representing a simply supported beam and uh, two forces that are applied on this uh, beam in the form of uh, matrices uh, this is the force matrix this is the stiffness matrix and this is the displacement matrix so in this form we are going to represent and uh, we are going to take it into the system of simultaneous equations and then we are going to solve this uh, problem and then we are going to get the results and here is uh, an example of a contour plot uh, which you will be deriving uh, in the coming lectures of the course uh, where you are going to apply this uh, same numerical method in the software uh, named ansys workbench right ansys workbench then the last method we are going to learn about is nothing but the experimental method so in the experimental method what we are going to do we are going to take the physical prototype and then we are going to make the actual measurements so this particular uh, experimental method is uh, time consuming as well as it requires a lot of setup so for example let us say i have a cantilever beam and i need to do experiment on this so what i need to do first of all i need to take the metal and uh, process the metal and uh, uh, manufacture a cantilever beam and once i manufacture the cantilever beam then i need to fix the cantilever beam uh, to simulate the environmental conditions in which i want to test whether the cantilever beam is working or not and then uh, what will happen is uh, it is a time consuming process as well as physical uh, prototypes are involved so that is why it is uh, a process uh, in which a uh, lot of cost is also involved for whatever the analysis we perform on digital prototypes they are nothing but the numerical method so if we have physical prototypes only this experimental method is applicable then results cannot be believed when we perform single experiment we can't believe the results we need to create multiple experiments of the same kind so that we can say that there is no deviation between the results of the same experiment and uh, we can be pretty sure whatever the experiment that we have undertaken is uh, good and the results can be believed so here is an example where you can see i have a cantilever beam and uh, i have uh, a force uh, p that is applied at one end and i want to find the deflection so here see you have a physical uh, test rig and you have physical sensors physical wires which are giving out signals and a physical weight uh, and each and everything uh, along with the physical cantilever beam uh, that is there uh, so this is an example of the experimental method in which we can try to determine whether the product or let us say the object is going to perform according to our needs or not